Fun with Shaney! Hi, friends! I'm so excited to be here with you today because it's Halloween! Are you excited for Halloween too? Hey, what are you going to be for Halloween? Do you know? Wow, that's so creative of you! Do you want to play a guessing game with me? You do? Great! Can you guess what I'm going to be for Halloween? I'm going to tell you my four costume ideas, and you can guess which one I chose. Are you ready? Okay, do you think I will be a witch? A ghost? Maybe a spider? Those are all spooky costumes. Maybe I'll choose something that's funny like a clown. Okay, on the count of three, I will show you what my costume is. And you can see if you guessed right. Are you ready? One, two, three! <gasps> oh my goodness! A what? There's a, a spider on my head? Of course there's a spider on my head! How do you like my Halloween costume? If you guessed that I was going to be a spider for Halloween, you guessed right. Good job! You know, I used to be a little bit afraid of spiders, but that was before I learned how cool they are. Spiders have so many legs. Do you know how many legs they have? That's right, they have eight legs. Spiders make silk webs and then they live on them. I think that that's so cool that a spider can make its own home all by itself. The webs are sticky, and spiders catch their food on their sticky webs. I think spiders are pretty cool, don't you? I love Halloween so much. I love making crafts, trick-or-treating, and playing fun Halloween games. How about we make a craft and play some games together? How does that sound? Great! First, we will play some games, and then after that, we can take something ordinary that everyone has inside of their house and make it extraordinary. We can make a craft together. I love craft. Also, later on, I can show you what is inside my trick-or-treat bag. I'm so excited. Okay, now let's play a fun game. Ooh, look around the spooky forest. Can you spot Halloween objects of different colors? Now, let's find the green witch hats. One, two. Oh, there are two hats. Good job. I'm sure some of you are dressing up as witches for Halloween. What else can we find? Do you see any black bats? How many do you see? One, two, three. Wow, three black bats. Look at them go. Bats are very unique creatures. Hmm, let's count the orange pumpkins. How many orange pumpkins can you see? One, two, three, four. Wow, four pumpkins. Great job. The last thing that we need to find are the green ghosts. Do you see them? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Five ghosts. Green ghosts are so spooky. That was so much fun. Do you want to try another counting game? Great, let's count some friendly things and creatures in our haunted house. How many webs can you count? One, two, three. Yes, three webs. What about the spiders? 
How many spiders can you see in this spooky haunted house? One, two, three. Three spiders. Yes. You know, that makes a lot of sense because there are three webs. So that means the three spiders each made one web for their home. So cool. Now let's count the ghosts. One, two, three, four. Four ghosts. Amazing. Oh, wow. How many skeletons can you count? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, so many skeletons. That was so much fun. Do you know what time it is? It's craft time! Okay, for craft time, we're going to need some things that you can find around your house. We need some tissues, a marker, and then we need either a twist tie, a rubber band or a hair tie, or some ribbon. We are going to make three ghosts together. The first part is the most fun. You can take some tissues and roll them up into a ball. This is going to be the head of our ghost. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take some tissue. You're going to put it over top of the ball that you just made, just like this. First, I'm going to use an elastic or a rubber band. We're going to tie it around the ghost's neck, just like this. How cute is it? After that, what are we missing? Our ghost needs a face, of course. You can take your marker and you can make your face on your ghost however you want. We need a mouth. And I'm going to give my ghost two eyes. One eye. Two eyes. Look at that. Look how cute my little ghost is. Okay, next, we're going to do the same thing. But this time, we're going to use a twist tie. I found these twist ties under my sink where my garbage bags are. This time, I'm going to make my ghost head a little bit smaller, so I'm only going to use one tissue. Roll it into a ball. Take another tissue and put it over top, just like so. And then, we're going to take our twist tie we're going to wrap it around the ghost's neck. So cute, right? Okay, this time, I'm going to give my ghost two eyes, a mouth, and a nose. One eye. Two eyes. One little teeny tiny nose, and a mouth. This ghost is very happy, so I gave him a smile. Okay, we have one more ghost to make. I'm going to use one, two tissues. I want this ghost to have a pretty big head too. We're gonna take our fresh tissue over top. Look how cool this is. I found this ribbon that had spider webs on it. I thought this was cool because I'm a spider for Halloween. I'm going to wrap the ribbon around my ghost's neck and I'm going to tie a knot. There he is. Okay, we need to put another face on this ghost. 
One eye, two eyes, and this time I'm going to make his mouth a little scary. Look at it. It's a little bit spooky, but it's also really, really cute. We have three little ghosts. You can use your little ghosts to decorate around your house for Halloween. You know, I love finding things around my house that I can use to make crafts. It's so much fun. Thank you for doing the craft with me. You know what's next? We get to look inside of my special trick-or-treat bag. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready to see what's inside of my trick-or-treat bag? I'm so excited. Oh. oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, do you know what this is? This is a skeleton. Skeletons seem a little spooky, but you know what? This guy's so funny because his head is so big. I love skeletons. What else? do I have in my bag? <gasps> A ghost! Just like the three ghosts that we just made. This ghost is cute, but I think the ghosts we made are a little bit cuter. What do you think? Hmm, I have two more things inside my bag. Oh, oh, oh. oh, a spider! Look, it's kind of like the spider on my head, isn't it? You know what? Spiders really aren't that scary. I really do like them a lot. Can you count the legs with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, spiders have eight legs. Okay, I have one more thing inside of my Halloween bag. Can you guess what it is? It's orange, and we usually see them every year on Halloween. If you said it's a pumpkin, you are right. Pumpkins are seen every year around Halloween. I love pumpkins so much. I had so much fun with you today. Did you have fun too? You did? That's great. We did so many fun things together. I showed you my Halloween costume. Uh, we played some fun games together. We made some ghosts. We looked in my special Halloween trick-or-treat bag. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness. How could I have forgotten about this? I'm a spider for Halloween. Can you think of a fun song about a spider? That's right, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Do you want to sing along with me? You do? That's great. Okay, we're going to take two hands and we're gonna put our fingers together like this. Okay, sing along. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the spout again. Thank you for singing with me. Good job. Bye-bye.